Hey everyone, and welcome to episode 40 of my collection log series. Uh, we're starting off this episode with 589 unique items filled into the book, which is always a nice sight to see. And in the last episode, we did manage to finish on a very high note, pulling in the Armadillo crossbow at Commander Ziliana. Um, over the moon about that. I can't even believe that I have this log filled in the way it is. We're only missing the light and the pet, which is just insane. But I do have God Wars on the brain a bit right now. My friend's been nagging at me to go do some general grotter. He loves it for some reason. But uh, he's like, come on, man, you'll pull the uh, tassets and the, the hilt sooner or later. But yeah, I'm probably going to go hit up some grotter. But I also do have raids on the brain a lot with the uh, Tombs of Emma Scott coming very, very soon. Uh, I don't know how hard it's going to be. I might try it solo. I might do it in a group. I'm not sure. But we do have a unique at Theater of Blood. I was uh, actually lucky. Not a guaranteed drop. But anyway, sit back and enjoy. Not a big milestone, but uh, 88 Hunter coming in from these birdhouse runs. We are only one level away from not having to Hunter Potion up for these Redwoods, which will be super, super nice to see, but yeah, just another level. All right, so just finished off the Bears task at the regular Bears, but uh, we got 106 Ankus now, which isn't uh, too, too bad at all. That'll be very, very quick, but uh, I have given this a lot of thought, and uh, if we're going to pop open the reward shop here, just let me drop a couple angler fish here quick, but uh, we are going to pop open the reward shop and we're gonna spend 750 points which hurts to be honest to buy ourselves the herb sack because uh yeah it's in the collection log and you know it can be fairly useful as well and uh yeah it hurts it hurts a little bit to spend 750 points but there we go beautiful another collection log item has been filled in the herb sack coming in which uh yeah i mean it's a little long overdue i really did not want to get it through tithe farm because it's just miserable for me it's super i don't know i don't think anybody really likes it it's good farming xp but we got 99 anyway but there we go five out of seven for tithe farm and 590 unique items overall i don't know how long the last two would take to fill in there i'm a guessing around six or seven hours but i could be completely wrong i just remember i did it a long time ago and i did not like it but uh yeah let's move on to something else all right, that is the end of the Anku task, pulling in three Laren's keys, which is pretty amazing considering I've been really dry with them, but uh, 103 ice giants to go kill. Hopefully we grab some more keys. All right, an ice giants task down for two more keys, and uh, what are we going to get? 64 chaos druids. Beautiful. Hopefully we can pull the last piece of the elder chaos robe set. That would just be amazing. Let's go find out if we do. Oh my god, we pulled the Elder Chaos top! Oh my god, guys, I'm so happy about that right now. This, uh, I haven't been here very long. That was like maybe, what, 10 kills or something? Wow, um, beautiful start to the task here, but let's get the hell out of here and go take a look at the collection log. Oh my god, that's uh, honestly just put a huge smile on my face. And look at my cannon, still doing work there, but uh, 500k clean as well, I'll take it. But uh, yeah, let's pop open the collection log and take a look under the um, Chaos Druids. A nice green filled section in. Three out of three. I really wish I didn't get the duplicate hood. It would have looked so clean. But uh, 591 unique items coming in as well. Wow. Um, off to a fantastic start so far. Um, hopefully the luck carries through and we managed to pull some crazy stuff this episode. But uh, yeah, no complaints here at all. Wow. Let's keep it going. All right, this is going to be the end of the task, and we managed to pull two more Laren's keys as well. So the stack is starting to pile up a little bit, but uh, yeah, we got 25 points for completing the task as well, which is another bonus about doing Wildy Slayer. But let's just pick up my cannon, and uh, yeah, let's go grab a new task. All right, so I got about 100 and some odd blood velds to kill, but uh, I think the only place you can kill them is in the God Wars dungeon, so I'm not going to bother with that. Let's see what we get for a different task, and 92 scorpions. All right, all right, we're going to go try out um, some Scorpia, because why not? I really do wish I had Ice Barrage on this account. I don't have it yet, but uh, let's go get a few kills and see if we have any luck. All right, so I got nine Laren's keys to open. I was going to round it up to 10, but I figured, you know what? Maybe lucky number nine. Let's see if that does anything for us, but let's just open it up and see what we get. Uh, 40 rubies and 38 rubies. Come on, game and diamonds. But uh, there are three pieces of Dagenhai armor that we need to get here, and that would be the three unique items from the chest. I don't know how long it's going to take to complete this section of the collection log. Um... 
it, it could take a ridiculous amount of time. It's like the same concept with the brimstone chest as well with all the mystic pieces and stuff. Uh, I can't remember what the drop rate is. I don't think it's too insane. I think it's about 1 and 128 or something like that for any piece, but I could be wrong. I'll, I'll double check it at some point, but I'm very curious to see how much we got off of 9 keys. I think it's supposed to be around uh, about 150k per key. Um, I'm not sure if that's accurate or not. I'm assuming I didn't make that much because I got a lot of weird kind of crappy drops here. But uh, let's pop open the bag real quick and see how much did we get. Uh, 950k. It's not, not too, too bad. All right. So this is going to be Scorpia KC number 25. Come on. And what are we going to get? And of course, it's a combat task. Oh, man, these things kill me. But I figured it might be. I didn't really check. But, you know, 25, 50. They always seem to be weird little milestones. Oh, that's a big hit. Oh my god, what a stack out there. But coming in with KC number 316, and what are we going to get? No, not Bando's Boots again. Oh my god, this is the curse of the Bando's Boots. This is literally turning into my Obby Cape curse all over again. But oh my god, I don't know how many pairs of these I have now. I think four. I could be wrong, but oh my god, guys, you never want to see Bando's boots here. It could have been tassets or a chest plate, which I uh, would have taken the chest plate either way. I already have it, but you know, a nice little 30 mil split would have been pretty sweet, right? BKC number 350. Can we get a nice drop for 350? Let's go. And what are we going to get? Oh my god, no! Not Bando's boots again. Are you joking? Why does this game troll me so much? Oh my god, guys, that hurts. That really hurts. I mean, we just got here, but uh, <laughs> no, I don't want to see Bando's boots. And if you're going to give me these drops, at least give me the good ones. So I'll take duplicate chest plates any day of the week. Oh my god, guys, this, this hurts so much. It's so painful. God damn it. Well, would you look at that? The new tombs have come out and my bank has dropped about 20 to 30 mil overnight so you know you love to see that i bought the vacations for like 41 mil like uh, last week and yeah lost eight mil there already all right duradel come on sort us out give me something juicy let's go what are we gonna get uh 20 black dragons you know i normally do this at kbd but uh yeah i don't have my dragon hunter lance right now so i don't really feel like doing that it's probably a stupid task to skip to be honest but screw it what are we gonna get and 172 abyssal demons well i can tell you it's not gonna be as good as the last task i got but uh yeah let's go do it and see if we have any luck on a whip all right, so this is going to be the end of the Abyssal Demon task. Unfortunately, we did not manage to pull a whip, but that's another task completed. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How often does that ever happen? Pulling a whip on the last kill of the task. You love to see that. Oh my god, a nice little cheeky two mil to the bank as well. Helps with all the declining prices of everything I own, of course, because, uh, you know, you know how it is with the freaking tombs right now. It's insane. The market has gone absolutely mental but how many kills are we at now um where are we sitting for abyssal demons uh, 1974 oh my god that is only i believe i'm pretty sure that's only the second whip that we've ever gotten and uh yeah i feel like i'm definitely due for another one but you love to see that on the last kill of the task let's go get another one all right, this is going to be KC number 11 coming in at Scotizo, and we're really hoping to see a pet or something that'd be pretty sweet can we pull some luck let's go and uh, you know what? 326k worth of Onyx Bolt Tips. I will take that. And the usual hard clue. Would have liked to see an Elite as well, but uh, not too, too bad. All right, that was a quick Cal fight task. What are we going to grab now? And 131 Gargoyles. So you know what we're going to do. We're going to go hit the Grotesque Guardians. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the whole task or not because it takes a while, but uh, let's go do it. All right, so this is going to be a fairly big milestone in my opinion. Um, just got here as a second kill of the task, but 400 KC coming in at the Grotesque Guardians. And uh, yeah, just some standard loot. I really hope we don't go crazy dry here, but you never know. It could happen, but uh, not too, too bad. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm just going to grind this out a bit more or just finish off the task normally. All right, I'm pretty sure it's dead, but this should be Azora KC number 66 coming in. Holy crap, took a lot of damage there for an elite clue, actually. I will take that. I never mind seeing elites. Uh, you know how I feel about them. Everybody hates them, but uh, I need to get them, so not too, too bad. And our Toxic Trident is completely out, so very happy to be able to get the kill there. Yeah, let's keep going. 
All right, I'm pretty sure that's the kill and beautiful. This is going to be Zora KC number 75 for, oh my God, a combat task, man. I got to really, really pay attention to those because, uh, yeah, they troll me every single time. But uh, pretty average loot. Um, the main reason I'm here is actually Zora uniques are worth a crazy amount of money right now and the skills, so not too, too bad. All right, so I just went and did some Nightmare Zone, and I'm going to make myself a semi-permanent, if not completely permanent, upgrade to the account. And we're going to imbue our Ring of Suffering because of the insane amount of defense bonuses you get from it, not to mention the recoil, which is incredible at Zora. And, I mean, not having to switch out recoils over and over again is great. So, awesome upgrade to have on the account. I'm going to be keeping this for a very, very long time, and I'm sure it's going to be useful in other spots as well. All right, so this is going to be Zora KC number 100 coming in on the account and uh, no unique item coming in, but uh, it's nice to actually see a decent milestone here. The Ring of Suffering has been helping quite a bit. So yeah, not too, too bad at all. I might move on to something else and uh, yeah, let's keep going. All right, so I haven't seen a unique in a decent amount of time now. So I got a little bit of a clue stack going on. It's very small, but uh, we're gonna just open some up and see if we have any luck. We're gonna start with the beginner. Can we see a unique from the beginner? Let's go. And oh my God, mole slippers. You know what? I will take that 336K from a beginner clue scroll. Not too, too bad at all. You love to see a unique coming in. It's been a very long time since I got a beginner unique. But uh, yeah, let's just take a look. Where are we sitting in the beginner category? We got seven out of 16. So you know what? I don't think we're doing horrible, but it will be nice to have this filled out because I really don't like beginner clues. I don't know why. They drive me nuts. But let's move on to the easy. And uh, Bando's page three. Nothing to write home about there. There. And all right, let's go three hard clues. And are we going to have any luck? 121K, 95K, and come on. And no, 81K. So not really anything great from the hards. No uniques coming in. But let's just quickly dump all this in the bank. And then we're going to move on to the two elite clues that we have. And hopefully we have a bit of luck here. But uh, you know what? My elite luck has been absolutely terrible. So come on. Let's see something decent. Two to go. Let's go. And 130k. Why are elite so bad? I really don't understand this game, but one more. Let's see it. And 130k. Back to back 130k. Wow, not great at all. All right, this is going to be Zalcano KC number 223. Two, can we see something? And you know what? 260k worth of Addy Ore. Not too, too bad at all. Zalcano's actually really, really good money, in my opinion, considering it doesn't really require much. All right, this is going to be KC number 232. Come on, let's see something. And uh, just some coal, but that is the sixth MVP that I've gotten in this trip, so not bad. All right, here we go. There's another superior here. Can we actually get a unique from these things? Let's go! Oh my god, an eternal gem. Are you joking right now? Oh my god, 7.5 mil as well. I will take that. Wow. I've gotten two superiors this task, and apparently it's paid off. <laughs> this is amazing, guys. I mean, it would have been, I wish it would have been in a butte heart, to be honest, but I will take it. 7.5 mil to the bank. Oh, it's helping up with all these losses I'm getting from the tombs. It's killing me, guys. I don't know how it is for you, but it's killing me. But let's pop over the book here and take a quick look under the Slayer section. We finally pulled one of the big boy items from the Superiors and a nice item to fill in for the collection log as well. It just looks sick. Just missing the Abute Heart and the Dust Battle Staff now, but 40 out of 73 in Slayer and 593 items overall. Oh my god, guys, I am just over the moon about this. This is incredible. I've been waiting so long to actually see something like this. Like, I've never gotten an Eternal Gem or an Abute Heart on any account, so absolutely love to see it. All right, so that was one hell of a Necreal task, but let's get a new one and 135 Blue Dragons. Oh my god, boys, you know what that means. We're going to be sending some Vorkath. It's been a while, and it's, uh, it's time to go kill it again. Maybe we'll actually see some luck there. Who knows? All right, this is going to be Corrupted Gauntlet KC number 140 coming in. So we're making some decent tracks here, getting slowly close to the uh, halfway point for the drop rate of the Enhanced Weapon C. But let's see what we're going to get. And an Elite Clue, I will take it. Love to see Elite Clues come in on this account. But uh, yeah, not too, too bad of a drop either. Two Dragon Hallies coming in and some Dragon Arrows. Pretty solid kill, if I do say so myself. Let's go do more. 
All right, if we can hit here, this is going to be KC number 143. I messed up my armor, so I got a tier 3 helmet on, but uh, yeah, maybe it'll give me some good luck or something. Let's go open the chest and see what we pull. Come on, give me an enhanced weapon seed. I want to see it, and oh my, no, oh my god, I panicked a little bit, but a crystal armor seed coming in. Not about to complain about that in the slightest. I feel like I've been incredibly dry at this place. I don't know if I am or not. I don't know if it's 1 in 50 or 1 in like I know it is but is it 1 in 25 for any seed like I have I feel like I'm due but let's uh let's tally up this loot here we got uh two rune chain or no five rune chain bodies actually <laughs> and uh some nature runes and of course the crystal armor seed for 11 mil on the dot that is a nice corrupted gauntlet kill if I do say so myself but uh yeah let's check the log real quick and see where we're sitting and uh how many KC we're at so 143 with two crystal armor seeds now oh, I really want to see the enhanced one but uh, you know what I, f I still feel like I'm dry call me crazy all right come on hit beautiful that's going to be corrupted gauntlet KC number 166 coming in on the accounts which uh, yeah we're making some tracks come on want to see the enhanced weapon seed let's go and oh my god it's a normal one uh, you know what? I'll take it though. It's not worth that much, but uh, at least we're starting to see the actual seeds now. Like maybe my RNG is starting to like balance out or something. But uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'm very confused. I feel like I should have more of these at this point. Like 166 KC at the corrupted, 50 at the normal. I feel like I should have seen more than four of these. But uh, how much is this thing worth? A uh, decent kill, actually. I think just with normal loot and uh, yeah, so 500k. Not too too bad. All right, if we can get this kill, beautiful. This should be KC number 500 coming in at General Grider for some magic logs. But we are halfway to 1,000 KC here, and we have yet to see anything aside from boots. I mean, we got the BCP from a minion, not from the boss, so it's a little discouraging. I really, really want to see something here. You know, maybe I'm almost at hilt drop, right? So drop me a hilt. All right, this is going to be KC number 541. Come on, let's see something. And come on. Okay, okay, finally coming in with a Bando's chest plate. The curse maybe is broken, but oh my god. That's a nice juicy 15 mil split, so I'm not about to complain. I really, really wish it would have been Tassets, but you know what? I will fucking take it. I've been here for a very long time. Like, seriously, I have seen nothing but freaking boots from this place oh my god that feels good honest to god um i was like losing motivation here very fast i mean it seems a little crazy that it actually took 541 kills to see anything but boots i mean we did get the pcp but it was from a minion so i don't even count it but Oh my god, that's a huge relief. Let's uh, let's, uh, finish out this trip, see if we have any more luck, but not too, too bad at all. Nice 15 mil split. All right, coming in with a nice milestone here. We're about to hit 93 Slayer on the account, which is just incredible for the 759th KC at Vorkath and a pretty juicy drop as well. But do you guys know what that means? We've just unlocked uh, Smoke Devils, which is incredible. We're going to go be able to hit up some Thermi whenever we get the task, and uh, hopefully we manage to pull a pet or something. That'd be crazy, but 93 Slayer coming in. All right, here we go. It's going to be KC number 771 coming in. Come on, let's go. <laughs> no, no, that is not what you want to see here. Oh, my God, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, it's like three mil, but oh, my God, that could have been a skeletal visage. Oh, uh, no, guys. Oh my god, why? Why game? Why you troll me with these freaking duplicate drops? Like, come on. Oh, let's pop it open. Oh my god, two draconic visages coming in on the account. It could have been a skeletal visage. Oh my god, it feels bad, guys. It hurts. It honestly does. Like, that's just... That is not what I wanted to see. Fuck my life. Oh my god, I just missed the recording. The fucking visage just totally threw me off. But we just hit 99 hit points on the account. So that's always a nice sight to see. I tried to time it for the end of the kill, but I guess it didn't work out. But uh, yeah, at least we got a little token of uh, to remind us that we got 99 HP. A little draconic visage. But uh, yeah, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go uh, grab ourselves a cape and check out the emote and stuff. Because it's always nice to see uh, 99 milestones on the account. So let's go do that. 
All right, guys, you know the drill. Here we are at the PvP arena, not the dual arena anymore, but uh, we're going to go grab ourselves this beautiful, beautiful cape because it is one of my favorite looking in the game. I'm not sure how everybody feels about it, but I think it looks pretty sick. So, boom, there we go. We have ourselves a 99 hit points cape, and which is just, I don't know, I don't know what to say about it. It's a sick looking cape. It's a nice milestone. And uh, yeah, it just looks pretty sweet. Let's go check out the emote and uh, see how that looks. I can't even remember, to be honest, what it does. But, uh, oh, I can't perform that now. Maybe I need some more space or something. Let's try it over here. And can we do the emote? We'll find out. But uh, come on, what do you mean I can't perform it? What the hell is going on here? We're going to the house. We're going to the house. We got to see this damn thing. But uh, yeah, it's always a nice milestone to hit 99 HP on the account, which is always beneficial in a lot of spots. But yeah, the emote's pretty goofy, but I like it. So not too, too bad. Another 99 on the account. Holy crap, is that the kill? Damn, that was quick. But uh, coming in with KC number 791 for all... Oh, it's a combat task. Uh, wow, I haven't seen a combat task here in forever. Holy crap, a minute and 14 second personal best, man. That was a fast kill, man. I just shredded this thing like holy crap crap but a uh, pretty nice drop too about 300k coming in so didn't think i'd see a combat task here again but uh apparently i just did all right so this is going to be the end of the blue dragons task so 135 blue dragons have been slain for vorkath kc 843 sorry about that and uh yeah 100,000 slayer xp coming in some crazy ass milestones popping in on this task but uh not too too bad let's go get another one so, before I wrap this episode up, I have a bit of a special announcement to make, and by all means, guys, this is not concrete, but I was in contact with Soup RS, and I'm sure I don't need to explain to you guys who I'm talking about, but we were discussing the Gilinor games, and he did say it was possible for a rookie kind of slash lower level YouTuber like myself to be a part of it and be a contestant on the show, but it would require some requests from the fans and recommendations, and just to get my channel a little bit bigger. So, if you you guys potentially want to see me participate on the Gilinor games make sure to get the word out to other people and hopefully we can make this a reality I would absolutely love to be a part of it it is one of my favorite pieces of content on YouTube and just everything about it is so well thought out the production value and everything that goes into it is just it's just phenomenal go check it out if you haven't seen it it essentially puts all your favorite youtubers against each other in a survivor kind of based uh, style where people get eliminated and stuff it sounds like a lot of fun and I'd love to be a part of it and I would love to put on a good show for you guys I feel like I would be a good candidate just simply because I've got a decent game knowledge I'm fairly good at PvP I'm not a master by any means and I feel like I could just add an element to that so if you guys want to see me on the show please make sure to recommend me in the future and uh, thanks so much guys all right, guys, that is going to do it for episode 40. And I can honestly say I apologize. We only managed to get four unique items this episode. But uh, yeah, RNG gives and RNG takes, right? It's just the way it is. But we did manage to get a decent amount of uh, milestones in 99 HP, 93 Slayer. But we're going to grab ourselves a task. And this is going to be for next episode. And 131 Smoke Devils, the exact task that I wanted to see. So absolutely no complaints there. We're going to be hitting up some Thermi in the next episode uh, I believe there are five uniques to obtain from the thermonuclear smoke devil so let's just pop open the book real quick and take a look yeah there's five uniques to obtain and uh, yeah the pet is probably one of my favorites in the game I feel like I do say that a lot but it is really cool looking but uh, yeah I digress if you guys did enjoy this episode please make sure to hit that like button consider subscribing to the channel if you are new and uh, press that notification bell just in case I go live and as always have a good one, guys.